Okay, we're, we're back somewhere else. We've had enough PC things for a little while, I think. Incidentally, this isn't the, the system I'm the most comfortable with either, the PlayStation 1, but here we are. So, Super Sponge. This is, interestingly, not 100% blind, although it's one of those things where it is by most... for most purposes. This I played who knows how long ago. I never completed it, I never owned it. But it's really loud. In fact, don't I have my... My audio's on 1% and it's still too loud. I imagine these are... Yeah, these are all from the show. That's hopefully not going to cause a problem with any, uh... Any content ID. I don't think so because there's this really weird, like, blur filter over top of it. This is one of those awkward stages in, in earlier licensed games where, for some reason, they tend to give things weird kind of openings and whatnot. Also, they add a 3D effect to the title here. I don't know. Here we are. Let's see what this is like, because I don't remember much of anything about it, except for, I think I remember the premise maybe a little bit. Oh, look at that rainbow effect on the background, or something like that. Or RGB. That's what it is. Oh, it's rotating. But, um, what was it? I very, very vaguely remember at least part of the plot, I think. And I remember the first boss. That's really it. Good luck. Yeah, control styles, I think I can get fire for default. Positions of things. Which you don't usually need to worry about. For speech? I don't remember that being a thing, but whatever. The fun that you have with PlayStation 1 games where you have to manually load your game every time and whatnot. Here we go. Yes, things to collect. I mean, I appreciate it. Oh. Here we are at Bikini Bottom. That's and good audio today, quality. We will be following my favorite clip today. He is in search oh, of the best birthday present ever for his best friend, that. Patrick. The question is, how far will he go for his best friend? You press up and down to, to progress, not X, apparently. Honestly, that's really good audio quality. <laughs> and meanwhile, I play things on the GameCube with much worse audio quality. It's kind of weird. Although it's clearly not the actual French area we know and love. No, not you again. Just keep the noise down. What do you want? My best friend Patrick's birthday and a signed photo of his favorite superheroes would be the best thing ever. The next best thing would be arms. And maybe legs too. We are a bit busy right now. No rest for superheroes. <laughs> well, I know that... <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to have to try to not do that. See that butter? Tomatoes, jelly. Jelly. That's what we need. I got calculator. You can count on it. So if we're skipping some dialogue, we can restart this cutscene if we want to. Probably. Ow. I'm used to pressing X to advance the, the text on the dialogue. Oh, that's an actual background from the show. That's interesting. No. No start, no save, none of those things, please. No, I don't. Can I load? Not that kind of load. There's no... Ah! I don't know if there's a way to restart this from here. Oh. Okay, um, I think we get the gist of the plot. It seems like SpongeBob at least thinks he has to get some things for Mary Man and Barnacle Boy to get an autograph, even though he's probably wrong. We've got it. I didn't realize this game was 2.5D. I thought it was completely two dimensional. That's interesting. That is interesting. It's almost like a. Reminds me a little bit of Klonoa. I'm going oh, it's also in the PlayStation 1 now that I think Hi, about Squidward. it. Ready for another great day together, friend? 
a Sunday SpongeBob. Forget the Krusty Krab. Hey, moron, why don't you take your net and go waste somebody else's time? Hey, I can use this net to catch jellyfish and throw them at those annoying critters. I don't think so. I don't think it comes annoying. But, uh, I'm gonna have to train myself not to ha even have my finger over that when the dialogue is happening. Oh, look at that beautiful animation. It's a little awkward, but... Oh, I can't hold... I think. I can't hold anymore, and that's why I can't swing anymore. There you go, see? Yeah, I think you throw them. That's one of your ways of attacking. It's a little weird. Is there another better way to throw it, to, to fire this somewhere? Right now I'm just throwing it straight down. I can't, I don't see what to not just throw it straight down to the, to the ground right now. I've tried holding the button and things like that. Oops. Oh. The gold inspectors are my life. I forgot about that. It's like rings in a Sonic game or something. That's the checkpoint. Yep, I'm remembering things bit by bit now. Yep. This is a bit. Unfortunately, unlike Sonic games, you can't just jump on top of things and not get hurt. Come on, move in predictable fashion, please. There we go. I think I only ever got to the second level in this game, though, so we'll pretty quickly run to things that I haven't seen before. Cannot slide, unfortunately. Now. I don't think we said anything about how to fire yet. Of course, this was back in that day. Whoa. How did I leave this behind? Triangle, apparently. I don't see yet. Apparently, underwear is my lives? It's like the inverse of Battle for Nikki Bottom. Almost. It's kind of weird. But, of course, this game can burst, so it's not like I can say it exactly corrupted the, the interpretation that Valkyrie Bottom had of Wonderware's health and Spatches as your big important thing to collect. Have um, Jack and Daxter or uh, Banjo Kazooie or Mario 64 style. It is interesting to see this game doing the whole... Oh. Doing the whole... what is it? The whole 2.5D thing. Okay, these are really not gonna get hit by. It is weird seeing a Spongebob game doing a Sonic-style type of life, though. These golden spatulas. I think they even look similar in the sense of being golden now. I think about it, which is kind of funny. No momentum based platforming, though, unfortunately. No rolling around. I see it just bounces on the ground. Now to find the jar of sea nut butter. I remember the first boss, and, was, and that's all. I think I remember, too, that um, this game is nice enough not to. Reset the health on the boss whenever you die. I always want to press down to do a ground pound, but you actually just press the jump button again. But it's kind of weird. It feels like this game has 2.5D, but doesn't really take advantage of it. Oh, is that out of 100? The, the number of, um... What's it called? The number of... What's patches you got? That's my guess. I guess I got further than the second level. I don't know how far I got in the game. SpongeBob, you silly old sponge! Try using your helmet. Apparently, this 3D is too much for my computer to handle, though. Regardless, I guess I have the helmet. Oh, that's what it was. Can you not go in? Nope. Yeah, you have a water meter in the top right. I forgot about that somehow. 
But I feel like the fact that we don't have the, the environment ever like turning around or anything like that. Okay, falling on your face is not a problem. You, nothing rotates or anything like that. It's kind of hard to put into words what it is that I'm referring to. But if you compare this, for instance, for what... That's pretty awkward bouncing. Compare this to what... Ah, oh, darn it, it still hurts. I think it would bounce. If you compare this, for instance, to Klonoa, where you actually have a kind of a full-on 3D environment, even though you still only move left to right, this feels a little underwhelming, even though it kind of uses the same idea. I believe Klonoa was considered to be kind of the codifier of the oh, 2.5D idea. I don't know if it was really the first come up with the idea, or if it was just that it did it particularly well. Like, continuing my recent trend apparently of always thinking of games in terms of other games. It's interesting to compare a SpongeBob game to Sonic and Klonoa at the same time. I really just remember one level I never got, got past, and I don't know if there was a particular reason for it or anything. Yeah, I was hoping that would not fall towards me there. Now we're inside. I can appreciate at least... Oops, a game that acknowledges... The existence of the inside. Hello! Okay, that was interesting. Collisions. But it's interesting to see, uh game that acknowledges Sandy Street Home having an interior section. I always like for some reason seeing the different interpretations of the characters' living spaces in, in games, even though they don't come very often. <sighs> Sorry, I keep doing that. Also, I don't know why it sometimes lags in the audio and sometimes not. There's not much configuration I can do on this. I mean, later though, so. So much I can do about that. Yeah, that was another goal in this patch. I'm kind of curious to see if I can. get anything interesting if I get all of them in a level. I don't really want to do a no damage run of this whole game, but. Hi! But just to see, let's. quickly try out. getting everything in this level if we can. I don't think it should be that tough to do. Maybe wrong. Especially if I make judicious use of... of the jellyfish. The collisions are pretty generous to you when it comes to catching them too. Which will help. But, darn it. That was just me mixing up the buttons. Oh wow, that's not quite what I thought would happen. I didn't think I would actually quit to that degree. Okay, now that I at least saved. I had a feeling it wouldn't have. Good. Yeah, I'll see if I can just finish off the episode by 100 this level and seeing what that entails. I lost my life. Oh, well. Not a big deal. This, this game does have that tendency that I've noticed in some games to have the music be really quiet compared to everything else. I don't know why that is. I feel like everything else is pretty loud in this game compared to the music. And then that this game's opening has really, really loud music on the other hand. It's a little strange. I might... The thing is, I don't... Yeah, you know, I can't change the audio settings from, from here. I'm tempted to restart the game at some point and... Maybe make the music color or something? At the moment, I can hardly even hear it to begin with. I always find games to have this really weird, awkward feeling to them when the music's really quiet. And re with respect to everything else, or in relation to everything else. Sound that by throwing a jellyfish just means that it goes down along the ground. Bouncing like that. I guess it's convenient for me anyway. It's weird seeing a game where jellyfish are completely harmless to you, too, actually. 
I don't think they could even remove the Flying Dutchman for that matter in the console version of this. I said they hurt my hopes. There's a luck down there. I can go grab that in a second. First, I want to do everything over here. Anything silly happening like that thing respawning down there. Oh, it's slightly off screen. So I guess some games will do that. This is the most important part here. It's actually useful, I guess, that the joypush bounce on the ground in this awkward way because that's where all the enemies are. Anything we can see what this game has to offer us for collecting everything in a level. I can't say I was ever that into the whole collectathon thing that all the games seem to do, where you had to just collect everything in a level. You can see, for instance, I didn't enjoy that that much in the original Sly Cooper when I last played it. An extra life, okay, cool. Anything else? I wonder if the original Colonial Light acknowledged that in any way. You can all the Dream Stones in every level. Apparently not here. In the remake, you got stuff for collecting lots of them, and maybe all of them. I'm not sure about all of them, but for collecting massive amounts of them, you got stuff. Did you get anything for collecting all of them in Lute's Veil? Vale? I don't remember. Maybe that was how you unlocked the, the Mamad House? Or Momad House? I don't remember which. I'm not sure. Anyways, a block, not a lot of block. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Why is I need a separate loading screen? Anyways, bye everyone.